Hi Shop2, I'm Julien Laferriere, Production Manager on Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and I'm very happy to answer some of your questions today. We made uh, a short movie called Lineage last year and uh, right now we're, we're working on some comic book projects and uh, that's what's great about the Assassin's Creed universe is that we, we got many, many opportunities to tell our stories and who knows if uh, a long movie is, is in the works, uh, you'll have to wait for that. Uh, in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, it was really important to us to um, uh, develop Desmond's story uh, furthermore. So uh, in Brotherhood, you'll get to play uh, as Desmond and you're going to see that Desmond ha will have now more of his assassin skills. Um, you'll get to do some free running with him and Lucy and just basically uh, witness how Desmond becomes a full assassin. Yeah, I thought that uh, that trailer was, was pretty cool. Uh, but all the, the music in the game is done by Jesper Kidd, then it's very important to us to um, make sure that the, the music feels true to the period we're, uh, we're making a game about. So, and it's a tradition with, uh, with the marketing when we make our trailers to try to have a modern, edgy twist on, the, um, on our game. So that's why we always try to select uh, cool tracks to make the trailers, but they don't, they don't make it in the game. Rome is the biggest city we ever built. Uh, it's, it's, it's vast, it's very, very big, so we're not, um, we're not afraid that there will be tons of actions for the player there. Plus, it's not the only city you visit in, in uh, AC Brotherhood. You'll get to go to Spain and Naples through the, all the um, Leo War Machine missions. You'll get to uh, wander outside the borders of the city and really explore more, more uh, of the region. That would, be, that would be really, really cool. Um, but it's really about the story and with, would a female ancestor ser serve the purpose of the story? And, and who knows what the future of the franchise will be, but it's really important to us that, that in, in terms of narrative, it fits in and it, we, just know, we just don't slap a female ancestor just for the fun of it. It has to fit in with the story. What I can say about that is that the whole development team really love Ezio as a character and the Italian Renaissance is a very, very rich moment in history to make very, very good stories. Plus we had the Borgia family, super interesting um, uh, cast of characters. So after AC2, we, we said we had kind of more story to tell about that period. Uh, so we started to work on, on, on that, plus the fan response of AC2 was immensely positive. So we said, well, we want to work on another game. I think fans want to, more, to know more about Ezio's story, so let's make another game. Well, the Assassins of 2012, uh, led by Desmond and Lucy, are looking for the Peace of Eden. And the only person in history who knows where the Peace of Eden is located is Ezio. So Vestman will have to relive the memories of his ancestor to know where he hid um, the Peace of Eden. Well, first of all, that's a very good question and we're, the dev team is, is always happy to see like the really positive fan response about it because Brotherhood is not even out yet and people are wondering what's the next game in the series, so that's very flattering for us, of course, but uh, right now the focus is on Brotherhood, uh, play it, have fun, and who knows what's going to happen in the future. If I had to choose personally, I'm a big fan of the whole uh, Cold War period, so that would be awesome, like the Russians spying on the US and submarines and everything and very like a spy-ish kind of uh, ambience, that would, be, that would be very cool and that would be my, my favorite part of history. It's very important in the Assassin's Creed franchise that we, we target strong um, moments of history where there was basically uh, um, 
something very important going on. Like in, for AC1, it was all about the Crusades. And then for AC2 uh, and Brotherhood, it was the Italian Renaissance. So it's not really like we're not um, moving forward in history at a certain pace. It's more that the, that's what's beautiful about the animus basically is that we can target moments in history that are historically significant and just make amazing stories in there. So we're not, um, there were other moments in history between the Crusades and the, the Renaissance that could be very, very interesting. But this time around we said, well, Italian Renaissance, that's very interesting to make stories about. It. Ezio as a character is, is a womanizer and the ladies will always have a big importance in his life. So uh, Katarina Sforza is back and so are other ladies that you have to play the game to discover. The Assassin's Creed franchise, one of the main elements is that we, we want to surprise players with new features that will be very, very cool, and it's important that we, we, we ship quality games. So there's no like rinse and repeat. We always want to keep fresh games, fresh ideas, and we, we have tons of them. So as long as we're going to have ideas, we're going to make uh, good quality games. All right, so that's it, guys. I hope that uh, I answered your, uh, your questions. Thank you very much for, uh, for sending them. And uh, on behalf of the whole development team, I hope you have fun with Assassin's Creed Brotherhood.